皆さんこんにちはソロ留学です、えー、本日はタイトルにあります通りパートナービザの申請につきましてお話をさせていただきたいと思います、えー、こちらのパートナービザなんですが、えー、近年お問い合わせがとても増えていて、まあ、実はソロ留学を通してパートナービザを申請してすでに取得されている方も多くいらっしゃいますでこちらに関しまして、2022年から2023年にかけて、パートナービザ申請の内容であったりとか、まあ、申請条件等が変わっているということに関して、多くお問い合わせをいただいているので、え本日はソル留学のマイグレーションエージェントであるえナモさんとともにお話をしていきたいと思います。えナモさん、それではよろしくお願いいたします。Hi everyone, my name is Namo Kim. I'm the registered migration agent for、uh, in Seoul Edu and Migration. So, today, like Haruki san mentioned, we got many inquiries from the Japanese students about the partner visa. And then, recent previous three months, we see the more than 10 cases of the visa grant, partner visa grant for the, our Japanese client. And then, the, a lot of new students and new clients worry too much about the new changes. So, today, we make this video to explain you about the how. ということで本日は、まあ、いわゆる Q&A セッションという形で、うん、ナモさんの方に、まあ、こちらのパートナービザに関しましてご質問の方をさせていただきたいと思います、うんえー、それではまず1つ目、えーまあ、全体的にパートナービザが変わります、うんまあ、条件が変わるといったことが多いですが、まあ、2022年から23年にかけて何かが変わるのですかといったご質問になりますそうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。It、become、uh, above the 8,000, which is、uh, quite expensive. But again, I'm mentioning a lot to the, my client the other my, the permanent visa application as well. They, they, the fee has been increased, and most of the permanent visa at this stage in Australia they must apply the、uh, temporary visa、oh. first and then apply the per,、uh, permanent visa. Then those f e e is actually similar to the partner visa, and this partner visa fee 8,000 is. Is a combined、uh, application fee for the temporary partner visa and permanent partner、mm. visa. So, yeah, it looks very expensive,、mm. but actually similar to the other visa、mm. uh, as well. So, the first thing, the fee has been increased. That's the main、uh, changes that you should aware. And the other thing I want to mention is a lot of students、uh, worry about the sponsorship assessment. So, maybe you heard that the, you cannot apply the visa until. Your sponsor's application has been finalized, but this change has not introduced to the real case yet. So, even the new financial year, the government hasn't announced about this one, so you don't need to worry too much about this one. But what you have to do is if your visa expiry day is, the, let's say, in December, but you should be ready for your application by November, one month early. So, even though government suddenly c h a n g e but you still have one month time to get a, your sponsor's assessment complete.、Uh, so, just make sure, just prepare everything one month before of your visa expired.、Oh, okay. That should be okay. So, the two main questions. This is the partner visa. The partner visa 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 is the partner visa. The second question is、mm. the quota for the partner visa. Oh, yeah, 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 we should yeah. mention about yeah. this.、Uh, yeah. So, but the migration the office always、uh, release the information about the quota for the each visa.、Mm. Uh, so, they already. already Confirm the quota for the partner visa for the 2022 and 2023. So, previous year, the partner visa quota was more than 7,000, 70,000,、uh, which means that the more than 70,000 uh, the, the the applicants have received the partner visa.、Mm. Mm. But unfortunately, In this coming 2020 and 2023, that the quota has been reduced to the 
40k means 40,000. But again, a lot of people worry about the, this news. The cut has been reduced to 40,000. 40, but yeah, this is a very important, you know, the figure you should be aware. Of, but it doesn't stop you to apply the visa. Oh. Uh, so the visa application will open. But if the cut is reached, they will process very slow. The next financial year, oh, when okay. new quota is open, the visa will be uh, granted as well. So again, don't worry too much about it. And then 40,000 quota is actually usual or average quota for the partner visa. Mm. The COVID situation, government oh, yeah. allocate the extra quota for the partner visa. So that's why previous year, it's oh, a 70. Oh. Thousand quota. So it's more like we just back to normal. Back to normal. So uh -huh. you don't need to worry about it. Back to normal. We still had a lot of quick visa grant mm. for the Japanese students. So yeah, yeah. I don't worry too much about this change for the Japanese students. ということで、え続きまして三つ目のご質問になります。えこちらはえとまあ少しまあお話しさせていただいたんですけれども、パートナービザを申請してからのプロセスの時間。まあ、どれくらい時間がかかるのかといったご質問になります。So the third question is that、like, what's the current processing time to apply for the partner or after applying the partner visa? Okay. So we should think separately for the temporary partner visa and permanent partner visa. So for the temporary partner visa, at these days, because of a huge number of quota is allocated for the previous year, we expecting around two to six months visa grant oh, okay. for the Japanese client, yeah. of course. Yeah. So that's why in the last three months, then we got more than ten the visa grant for the Japanese client, and then most of them average time frame is roughly three months. Some of them got a one month visa grant. Some of them got a six months visa grant. A lot of factors actually affecting the visa process now. Mm. Time is especially for the medical check. So the place that if you live in the Sydney, the visa, the visa medical check has been delayed a lot. Oh, so yeah. that's why the visa grant is a little bit slow mm. because of the medical check clearance. Mm. But again, in Queensland, there are not much uh, the queue for the visa medical check. Oh, okay. So once you got a visa medical check, mostly the case is finalized. So we can expect two to six months. Two to six months. But for the permanent visa, again, this is directly affected by the visa quota. Mm. And then now the current 801, especially permanent partner visa, takes roughly six months. Oh, okay. Two ten months. Hi. ということで、続きまして4つ目のご質問になります。まあ、こちら少しまあ全体的な質問にはなるんですが、パートナービザを申請するにあたってまあ準備、どういったものが必要になるのか、ま,あ、またはどういった点に一番気をつけるべきなのかというご質問になります。That if you are preparing partner visa, you must clearly understand about the, the law requirement to get the visa grant. A lot of students believe that if they are in relationship, like married and de facto, their, their visa is going to be granted. But we still see the, a lot of refugee cases coming to us mm. and they ask about the review application. Oh, okay. mm. Like a month ago, one Japanese lady also came to us and they asked about review. Then I was surprised that they have a very genuine relationship, mm. but their visa is refused because they believe. Their relationship is true, so that's why their visa is going to be granted. But yep. this is an assessment. Uh. Uh, that we have to understand what government want to see. Mm. That we have to prepare based on their kind of the requirement. They provide evidence. That's right. Uh, the government office is sitting like me, and then they are only checking the evidence what we provide. Mm. Even though you guys financially share the everything, but if you don't provide the evidence, how do you know? Mm. If you just make a statement, oh, we are sharing everything, we pay the rent together, we pay the bill together. But if you don't provide those things, mm. evidence, how they believe. So the most important thing is you clearly understand about the, what government requires mm. to see. And then how you prepare physical evidence to meet those requirements. Mm. That's very important thing. So a lot of students not just contact us just right before their visa application or visa expire. They usually contact us at least three to six months before the visa expire. Oh. Then we get started together a bit earlier. So we explain everything one by one and 
explain why you need this document. Mm. Uh. And then students start to prepare and once everything ready, we give you a review and then everything is finalized. We make an application when we see that document is decision ready status. Oh, okay. mm. If the government opened your file and if they see some of the information is not enough and they mm. ask you again, then these are gonna be kept delayed. Mm. Mm. Sometimes be refused. So we try to make sure to make everything to be decision ready status. Mm. Then launch the visa. To be ready for every single that's evidence. Right. Um. Uh, so that's why make sure if you have the good genuine relationship with your Australian partner mm. and the sponsor, then you should clearly understand about the legal requirement. Mm. If you don't have those information, please contact us or any other professionals. Yeah. They give you support. The other one that you want to pre uh, make sure is your relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your relationship. Uh, so everyone believe you, they are de facto relationship if they living together mm. only. Uh, but in Australia, De facto is not just about the living together. Living together is the one of the requirement to be a de facto relationship. But it doesn't mean you are the de facto relationship if you only living together. Just the one requirement. Yeah, you have to think about the financial aspect. Means how you share the, all the financial responsibility mm -hmm. with your partner, uh, and then household mm -hmm. uh, responsibility and commitment, mm -hmm. and also social aspect means you have to uh, the present uh, you and your partner have to present your relationship to the public mm -hmm. uh, so you have to find a lot of evidence easily like SNS and photos with your friends mm -hmm. uh, when I ask about the photo album of the relationship a lot of people preparing photo album with a very lovely photo ah, ah, like the party yeah. you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. but the photo or uh, you prepare for the social aspect is you must prepare photo with family member or mm. friends or attending some wedding mm. of your friend together or birthday party together. So those one is more important to meet the social aspect requirement. Mm. So like this, you should check all the different aspect and then you are living together. That means you are de facto relationship. So yeah, anytime when they are not sure about the evidence yeah. or the requirement, better to ask. You know? The professional yeah. Yeah. because if it is refused, it takes at least one or two more years yeah. to get the review application. Yeah. Yeah. はい、ということで本日は弊社のマイグレーションエージェントであるナモさんとパートナービザにつきましてお話をさせていただきました。ま、大変多くのご質問であったりとか、ま、あの、お問い合わせというものは受けているんですけれども、ま、やっぱりこ